Hey, Port St. Lucie, it's your mayor, Greg Orvec, and here to talk about our legislative session. This is an important time of year for us. Our local delegation and all the legislators of Florida have gone up to Tallahassee to do the good work of, pe of the people of Florida. And as you know, we got about 20 million people in Florida, so they have a big job. The legislative session is also a big time for your city of Port St. Lucie. And one of the big jobs of the mayor and city council is to go to Tallahassee and to lobby on your behalf, to let our delegation and that legislature know just what's important to 180,000 people of Port St. Lucie and then our greater region because we have a leadership responsibility for the whole Treasure Coast. So in order to really stick to what's most important, we limit our legislative requests, what we're asking for on your behalf to three things. Number one on our list is the McCarty Ranch Water Farming Project. And with this project, as many of you may already know, we could take up to 21% of the nutrient-laden water from the C-23 Canal from ever entering the North Fork of the St. Lucie River. We'll take it right off the board. So as we work on making sure we have a clean river, Here's a way where the, the people of Port St. Lucie could contribute to the solution, where we don't have to worry about algae and shutting down our river and seeing our way of life change. So that is number one on our list. We're asking for up to $8 million to build out the project. We could do it in as little as two years. We could clean 9 billion gallons of water a year. Our second legislative priority, the Riverwalk Boardwalk Extension Construction Project. Thanks to the support of the great state of Florida and our legislative delegation, we are currently in the process of permitting this project, which showcases the river we're fighting so hard to protect. As you may know, the boardwalk will connect the existing Rivergate Park and Boardwalk to the new park being developed at the Westmoreland property, just south of our botanical gardens. In addition to providing access, recreational, educational, and tourism opportunities within the preserve, it should be noted that this project is already spurring the redevelopment of neighboring commercial property. Our third priority, known as Sober Homes. In 2015, House Bill 21, sponsored by Representative Hager and our very own Representative Harrell, was the beginning of what we knew would be a long, arduous process of finding the right regulatory framework for sober homes or AKA recovery residences. We're hopeful that the legislature will again take this issue up and create a framework that lives up to the following ideas. People who need help should be able to receive the help they need from effective programs delivered by capable, caring operators. The city council staff and I continue to hear your pleas from all sides of this issue and believe that we will continue to go to the legislature every year until additional regulations are imposed by the state. Now, Port St. Lucie, the city council and I are so proud to work on your behalf, and, and, and we're gonna work as hard as we can. The reality is, though, the, the truth is that we can't do it on our own. We only do it when we stand together with our entire community of 180,000 people. Our state legislators, and not just our local delegation, but the whole legislature and the key leaders and decision makers, they need to hear from you uh, otherwise, our city of 180,000 might get lost in a sea of 20 million. And as a result, we want to provide you with the contact information of your legislative delegation. And if you want to learn more, we encourage you to contact us at the city council office, through the city manager's office, the city attorney's office. But let's make it simple, 871-5159, that's the city council office. If you want to talk about the city's legislative agenda, if you want to talk about how we can coordinate on lobbying in order to ensure that the state cooperates with the city to make this the very best it can be, a great place to live, learn, work, and play, we look forward to hearing from you.